What is the mind and how is the mind related to consciousness and spirit? I have a former client who uh, I've been, we've been emailing and she had some really good questions um, that, uh, that we agreed that I could make into a video because it might help some other people. So here is what she has written. What is the mind and how is the mind related to consciousness and spirit? So, um, my understanding of this mystery is that it's, we're all consciousness, we're all energy, and there's a universal mind. And there's something called the Akashic Records, which is where all, like, all the wisdom is stored, right? And it's like access through a specific vibration. And it's a pretty cool experience being able to go in there. And like I, while I don't understand all of this fully, my sense or understanding of this is that when you get downloads or when geniuses suddenly break through with all this wisdom that seems new to the world, right? It's like they've just accessed something really important and it's flown, you know, come through them, right? So these are like thoughts or these are creations, right? And, and a lot of really brilliant contributors to our world will say, hey, it wasn't me. Like it came through me somehow, right? Like it just kind of poured through me. Um, and I, um, I understand this feeling too, because when I write, sometimes it's not me writing. It just, it just kind of comes through. Um, and so that's a different feeling than when I'm like actively trying to think. Um, and so there's like a universal mind, which holds all the wisdom. And, and then maybe there's like these other, these thoughts that we have in our head, but really the way I like to look at it is that they're all choices. It's like the universe is presenting you with options. So if you think this thought, or you think this thought, or you think this thought, or this thought, um, they're all options, right? And you get to, to get to choose your own experience, and this is where you get to be a creator. So maybe your thoughts are just options. They're just things to choose from in any given moment. And sometimes we can get really locked on to one set of options, right? And so the, the expansion is really about being able to see all the options. Hey, if I can see all these different options, what do I actually then want to choose as a powerful creator and part of this dance, the substance dance that we're all in? So maybe that gives a different idea of thoughts. Thoughts are not bad, they're just options. Um, and when you can be aware of your power to choose them and to just see them as just that, um, then maybe it's more fun. It's kind of like going up to like a toy shelf and just being like, I like this one, I don't like this one, I like this one, I don't like this one. For what it's worth, that's my thought on thoughts. And then she says, since I can't separate these things yet, I'm still settling into a place of not having any thoughts, not wanting anything, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to create anything. It kind of feels like I'm meditating all the, uh, all the time. So trying to really understand where God is and trying to hear, understand, know, and listen. And so that's working for you, absolutely go ahead and do that. There's nothing wrong with that experience. But it sounds like there's a little bit of a struggle in there for you. If it sounds like there's a little bit of a turmoil around this, um, because maybe you're used to wanting things and used to having a lot of thoughts. And there's something very blissful about just being in the now, you know, being in that unknown collective space of just pure presence. And so you don't need to be thinking all the time. You don't need to be wanting all the time. You can also just be being and see what that feels like and see how long you stay in that and see what that yields and see what your experience of that is. But it sounds like maybe you're not comfortable with it or liking it or, and I don't know how much of this is you're wanting to go back to um, maybe the way things were because it's more comfortable or familiar and this is like, oh, what does this mean? But but can you sink into that experience? Can you enjoy it for what it is? What, what are you learning about the beingness of being in that presence, right? Because it, ultimately everything is okay. It's all good. We're all connected. And if you're feeling kind of blissed out about it all, awesome. Maybe you reach a state of enlightenment right now. So just enjoy it.